Hey guys, here with Spencer FC tonight. Hello. Hello. We tried to convince him to be a Real Madrid fan. I don't know if you ended up being a Real Madrid fan tonight. Listen, I mean, I'm used to my team losing, so in many ways it's similar to my team, but if I'm going to become a fan of one of these two teams, I, need to, I want to change that. I went in there with an open mind. I wanted to see what happened with the football. And to be honest, I said before, I was kind of a neutral supporting both teams and um, well, supporting football in that sense. And I, I was entertained. It was an entertaining game completely get why the Madrid camp will not be happy with it. It was pretty diabolical for Madrid, yeah. really. I think um, the main thing for me is that it just looked like a load of individuals on there, like, especially going forward, you know, Bale, Ronaldo, Benzema, no one can, uh, no one can doubt their quality, right. but there was no connection. There was, I mean, to be fair, in the second half, you guys had a lot more chances and Bravo in goal, yeah. I mean, Bravo for Bravo, <laughs> we have to say, because he Fun. was unbelievable in the second half. You, you probably could have had a couple goals, but realistically, you're never going to get as many as Barcelona. And to be honest, I think if you'd got a few, made it 4-2, they would have gone and got another one if they wanted to. They were just so superior to them. I don't know what's going on. I mean, the Real Madrid squad is, is quality, but you know, I, I heard some quote recently, Ronaldo saying that he, they're not going to win anything with Benitez or something, that he's obviously not happy. It's not like Benitez can drop Ronaldo for saying something like that. So I, just, I don't know how you manage people like that. I don't know what the, the, the next step is. Right, I mean, I think what, what the feeling that I got from this match tonight was that people or the players aren't behind Benitez, don't buy into his system, and it sort of showed to me at least on the field the players weren't really playing for him, and like you said, it was very individual. Yeah. Uh, what would you have changed? What would you have done differently? At the half, I guess. I mean, I thought you came out second half quite lively. Like the first five minutes was all around Madrid. You had three three chances in short succession. Marcelo should have scored, put it wide. Rodriguez had a good hit that was, was saved, and then, um, and then, but then Barcelona hit you on the on the bounce and got that third goal. I, th I don't think there was much to change, to be honest. I think Barcelona, when they're on song, no one can stop them. We've seen it in the last few years. You know, when they want to play well, like last year, they won the treble. It's it's, it's almost impossible to stop them. I think. Real Madrid can get that again, it can become that club that dominates Spain and world football, but right now, no, no club has, for me has ever had a, a front three like they've got. I know Messi only came on towards the end, but to have Messi, Neymar and Suarez, it's, uh, don't get me wrong, Bale, Benzema and Ronaldo are unbelievable and any other club would love to have that, but for me, the front three of Barca is, is doing better right now. I agree. I mean, I hate to say this, and I really, really, really hate Luis Suarez, but he yeah. finds that space behind defenders and it's unbelievable how he does that. I, and Oof, I don't, I don't know how he did it. What? So I have a comment to make. What did you think about the starting eleven? Uh, were you surprised at the the players that he that he started? For the Madrid eleven? Yeah, for the Madrid. Um, not particularly. I felt like it was pretty consistent with what I've seen them use in the past. I mean, you had to uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you had the, obviously the front three that doesn't tend to change too much, and then you had Modric and Cruz in there. Isco came on as a sub for James. I would have I would have liked to see James stay on a little bit longer. Um, Marcelo, I thought was doing really well. I don't know if he had an injury, but he obviously got subbed off as well. He, he's coming back from an injury. He right. just came back from an injury, and it looks like he wasn't. I mean, it may have re-injured himself I'm not exactly sure yeah he's getting forward well uh, defensively obviously there was question marks over Ramos and Varane at the, at the back today um, but I, I don't I'm not necessarily playing blame at the, at the doors of Madrid I'm just praising Barcelona right now it's just unbelievable to see yeah it's kind of disgusting oh, <laughs> I'm agreeing with you on Suarez though I don't, I don't like him as a man but no. you can't not respect him as a footballer when he went through that first goal there was no doubt in my mind that he was going to score he's just one of those guys he's going to put it in every time Ronaldo had a couple of chances he should have he had a header and a one-on-one -on -one. he should have put you know Suarez might put them away Ronaldo wasn't that efficient tonight he was not efficient tonight, and it looked like I mean I had that feeling where he thought he it looked like he was nervous going into those goals where I think an, uh, Ronaldo two years ago would have put them away like Suarez putting them away yeah. and he had those that 1v1 with a goalkeeper that he totally shanked and it's just like what? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what the next step is. I mean, listen, you guys can go and, and put a load of wins together against the other clubs in this league because of the way this league is. But if you can't beat Barcelona and you get beat like that at home, you've got to say Barcelona are the favourites for the title now. Well, I don't want to agree with that, but uh, I guess that's fair to say. After this performance tonight, um, so I don't know if we've converted him to a fan. Let's save that for his next trip to Madrid. Yeah, I'll stay neutral for you, now. Can you say, uh, give us an Alan Madrid? Alan Madrid. Alan Madrid. I need it. <laughs>